Thanks for joining bar class today. Uh, this is the next to last bar class. I'll be teaching again next week. And then Ellen is going to transition to teaching in person. So we're going to start with feet under hips, lift up through those legs, lift the rib cage up off the waist, roll the shoulder blades down the back, lift up the top of the head toward the sky, lift the chin to feel the back of the head over the back of the spine, inhale, arms up, exhale down. One more time, inhale, expand the belly, expand the ribs. Exhale, push the air up and out through the diaphragm. Nice. Coming to start our warm up, feet wide and parallel, arms out in a T. We're going to keep knees straight, but if you hyperextend like me, it's soft. And reach over, twist to the other side, reach and reach. So trying to touch to the outside of that opposite foot, straight legs, straight spine, big twist at the waist. Twist, twist, twist. Hey Terry, twist. Nice, four, twist, three, twist, two, twist, last one, and twist. Nice. Coming into first position in the center, we're going to do a side tendu dégagé batma, alternating sides. Zip those feet up, feel the rotation coming all the way up to the hips, lift up the rib cage, arms out to the side for balance. Tendu, brush the toe, dégagé, disengage from the floor, batma kick. Other side, tendu, dégagé, batma, tendu, dégagé. Batma, tendu, dégagé, batma. Strong core engagement to keep that torso nice and tall. Dégagé, batma, tendu, dégagé, batma. Try not to let your torso rock too much side to side and not bending into that. Uh, kick, ma, tendu, dégagé, ba, ma, last set, ba, ma, tendu, dégagé, ba, ma, nice. Okay, grab those weights. We're going to start our arms with a 90 degree raise. <coughs> Countdown, allergy season, feet parallel, lift up tall. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Chest stays open throughout. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Lift up one arm in front, one arm to the side. Counting down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Two, one. And now alternate one, one, one. No movement of the hips. No movement of the shoulders. All the work is coming from those shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Arms down, shake it out. Coming to our triceps series, 
feet parallel, skier position, soft knees, hinge from the hips, nice strong core, not rounding the back up or letting it sway down. Just a nice spinal alignment here. Bring the elbows up by the rib cage, trying to lift them up even higher if you can. Reach back and lift those hands behind you. Lift, lift. Feel the triceps work to keep those arms, the elbows lifted and to lift those hands into the air. Lift, lift. Open chest, elbows are hugging in toward the rib cage. Lift, 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 lift. Four, three, two, one. Face those palms up, pulse it up, 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 up. Open chest. Strong core, spine aligned, hands above the glutes if you can. Pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're not going to be done. Two, one. Keep the hands lifted, bring them in toward each other. In, 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 eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Open into a second position. Feet wide, feet open at 45 degrees. We're going to come down into a plie and stay there. So start by bringing your arms up. Nice open elbows parallel with the shoulders, not letting the elbows creep toward the front. Inhale, lift up the rib cage. Exhale, sit down into the second position. We're going to alternate and reach with this overhead press. So we're crossing over the body a little to get some oblique work in. Reach, reach. Make sure your knees are staying open. You can close up your feet if you feel like your knees are collapsing, or I guess bring your toes more toward the center of the room. It's a more accurate way of describing it. Reach, reach. Hips are locked in place. The reach is coming from the waist. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay in the center, up, down, down, up, down. Nice job, tall spine, down. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and stand it up. Nice. Feet back to parallel in the center, lifted tall. We're gonna come into a bicep variation. So start with the palms facing forward, arms down, bicep curl, lift those elbows up, extend the arm, bring it back down. Curl, lift. Extend and back down. Curl, lift. So this is a very slow burn for the biceps, especially with these little weights, but it will kick in eventually. Out, down, nice. Chest stays open, shoulders stay down. Two more like this. 
lift. This time we're gonna come up to that lift and keep the arms parallel. In, out, in, out. Elbows are nice and narrow, shoulder distance apart, hands facing back towards you. Nice, in, out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and weights down. Coming back into that skier position for flies. Inhale, exhale, come into your position, roll the shoulders back, raise up both arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Elbows are soft, drop one arm and then the other. Big squeeze at the top, trying to hold the pencil down your spine. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Four, drop, three, drop, two, Drop, last one, drop, let's do it together. Down, up, down, up, big squeeze at the top, four, three, two, last one, hold it up here and pulse for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Weights down, getting ready for our bar series. We are going to start in center floor. You can have your bar if you like it. Um, this isn't terribly balanced challenging. So we're gonna alternate side to side. We're gonna come starting with feet parallel, coming into squats. And then we're gonna do the same thing in first position and plies. So you could have hands on hips and we're going to uh, tendu to the front with a squat. So pushing the glutes behind, tendu to the side, back, side, other side to front, side, back, Side, switch sides again, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. We're moving through this kind of quickly so there's not super depth on this squat, but make sure that those glutes are going back behind you on every move. Back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. Nice job. Back, side, front, side, Back, side, last set, like this. Side, back, side, and front. Side, back, side. Coming back to center for a little rest. First position now, feel the leg zip up, rotate all the way up to the hips. This time, head and torso do not bend forward, staying upright, front, side, back, side, other side for front, side, back, side. Nice job. 
This should feel slightly different. The moving leg is working a little more on this. And let's turn out an extension. Balance might be a little more challenging because you don't have any kind of counterweight to that leg like you do in the squat or you're bending the torso forward, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, last set like this, side, back, side, front, side, back, Side. I'm going to grab my bar for our very last set of these because we're going to be up in releve optionally. So if you're in releve, rising up onto those toes, walk the legs together, heels together, thighs zipped up, super tall, front, side, back, side, other foot, front, side, back. Side, if you have the support of the bar, you can turn this into a dégagé so that extended leg is in the air instead of touching the floor, back, side, front, side, back, side, nice. Keeping that heel tall and lifted, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, two more sets. Front, side, back, side, last set, front, side, back, side, and front, Side, back, side, come back to center. Uh, okay, sorry, I don't know what happened there. Come back to center, lift up, holding, squeezing those thighs together, heels together, arms up above, working on your balance here. Four, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. We're gonna come into a side arabesque. Uh, we're gonna have the support of the chair or bar for us. So lifting up into the side, this body is parallel. My foot into the frame. So we're standing upright. We're not leaning toward our bar and we're going to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lean over the chair. Foot comes parallel. Hips are still square. We're not opening or closing the hip and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, back tall, open that leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend it over, come back to square. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last set, open. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, square leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. This time, other side, first position. Extend that leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Square leg, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Square eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set. Turn out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, chair back in place, coming to center floor with a paper plate or glider for our um, lateral lunges. Glider is gonna be under the moving leg that knee will bend. We're gonna come out to the side, tap, two, three, four, draw it in. So that standing leg is gonna tap, two, three, four, draw it in. Glide for two, three, four, draw it in. One, two, three, four, draw it in, nice. Lunging out, one, two, three, four, draw it in, two more like this, three, four, and in, one, two, three, four, and in. Now coming into continuous lateral lunges, lunge, 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 nice weight on the leg, drawing it in. Four. Three. Two. One. And get ready for the other side. Switch to the other foot. Lunge out, bending that knee. Tap, two, three, four. Draw it in, out, tap, two, three, four. Draw it in, out. And in, bending that gliding knee, tap, two, three, four. And in, tap, and in. Tap, two, three, four. Three more like this. And tap, two, three, four. And in, last one like this. Tap, two, three, four. And in, now continuous, glide, and in. Glide and in, glide and in, glide and in. Four, three, two, one, and Shake it out, put that glider to the side. Coming back to our chair. <coughs> if you'd like, you can grab a weight. We're gonna put it behind the knee and come into fire hydrants, standing fire hydrants. So standing, feet parallel, facing the bar, weight under one knee if you would like. Might be a little hard to hold on to, we'll see how it goes. Standing straight up, lift and down, lift and down. So really working to keep the hips square, not letting that hip lift. Yeah, that weight is not gonna stay there. You need a bigger weight or a less slippery one. Lift, 
lift, lift, nice, lift, lift, nice square hips, square shoulders. You should feel a strong engagement in that standing glute, four, three, two, one, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, nice. Other side, see if this side is any better at holding the weight. Set yourself up nice and tall, legs parallel, Just lift and lower, lift and lower, paying attention to that hip, not letting it lift up, lift and lower, lift and lower, nice, four, three, two, one, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, weight down. Chair to the side, grab your mat. It's time to come into our core series. All right. We're gonna start with our plank variation. We're gonna do an up, up, down, down with a side plank sweep, sweeping under the bottom leg into that side plank. So starting in your plank on your elbows. Uh, if you're on your knees, you'll come up, up, sweep, down, down. If you're on your toes, same thing, up, up, sweep but on your toes, you're gonna kick that bottom leg forward, down, down. So get ready, alternating sides, up, up, sweep, down, down, up, up, sweep, down, down. Uh, you can have, you can just bring that bottom leg to rest on the ground for a tripod, side plank, or you can keep it lifted above the floor for a little more challenge. Down, down, left, right, sweep, left, right, right, left, sweep, right, left, leading with the left. Meeting with the right. Up, sweep, down, down, up, up, sweep, down, down. One more set. Up, sweep. Down, down. Hold the plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back to a child's pose. Take a short rest, extend the arms, a little bit of a stretch for the shoulders. Knees open, stretch for the hips. Coming over onto our back. If you have a ball, a rolled up towel or throw pillow, you can put between your knees. Grab that, we're gonna come into a glute bridge. So if you have the ball or other object, put it between your thighs. Walk your heels toward your glutes or your glutes toward your heels. <coughs> Open up the chest, tuck the shoulder blades under. Palms flat on the mat, 
squeeze the thighs together or squeeze your squishy object. Lifting up, we're gonna alternate kick, 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 kick. So really trying to maintain the squeeze on those thighs. That's why it's nice to be holding something because that way you know you can't drop it. You should be feeling this on your inner thighs as well as your glutes. Kick, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Resettle, walk those glutes, uh, walk the heels back. And now we're going to squeeze the thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Glutes stay lifted really high. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk the feet together, walk the thighs together, staying up here in the squeeze. We're gonna shimmy the hips, so try to rock your pelvis uh, more up and down than side to side, shortening the distance between your hip bone and your rib cage on one side, then the other. Squeeze, rock, 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 eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down. You gotta take out that ball. Keep it nearby though. Rock the uh, knees side to side. <coughs> oh man, allergy season is horrible this year. All right. Holding onto that ball again with the thighs. Heels are a lot farther out this time. We're coming up into a, um, a little bit of a crunch position and we're gonna stay up here and pulse, 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 pulse. Reach the hands forward. Nice distance between the chin and the chest, not tucking that in. You wanna have your airway nice and open, pulse. Pulse belly button is pressing down to the spine. Feel that compression every time you lift, less distance between the belly button and the spine, pressing it down, 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 down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming up to sit a little higher. So this is a modified boat pose, still squeezing those thighs, pulse, 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 pulse. Push the belly button back. So we are getting a little bit of a spinal curve because we're pushing that belly button back. Squeezing the thighs uh, takes the work out of the hip flexors, which is where for me the work wants to go rather than the core. But if you squeeze the thighs, it brings the focus onto your adductors and deactivates those hip flexors. Pulse, pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can hold it here or you can come up into more of a boat expression. We're just gonna hold this boat for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And roll back, pencil stretch, keep your ball or squishy object. We are going to put it under our tailbone to elevate it a little bit and destabilize ourselves. So you should feel like you could fall to either side. Palms flat on the mat, open the chest, tuck the shoulder blades under, lift up the legs. We're gonna start with alternating toe taps, tap 
Uh, you can also just have your spine and your glutes on the mat if you don't have anything to elevate yourself with. Tap, tap, four, three, two, one, together. Tap, up, tap, up. So lots of muscle control, especially on the way down. We're not just dropping the legs. We're deliberately bringing them to tap. If this is feeling a little easy, you can bring your hands up above so that you have less contact with the floor, less stability. Tap, tap, tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring out that ball. Nice job. Coming up onto our side. And we're gonna do side crunches. So uh, body is in line, toes, knees, hips, shoulders. Um, bottom arm is extended in front of you, palm flat on the mat. And we're going to lift, lift. So lift that upper body. It's probably not gonna be very much. Try not to use leverage of the arm <coughs> in this variation. Legs are extended, toes pointed, bottom leg stays glued to the mat. Four, three, two, one. Prop the head, top hand can come on the mat or on the hips, lift those legs, lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. This time elbow is uh, down underneath the shoulder, head is propped up, um, hand position again, either on the mat or on the top hip. We are going to use a little bit of arm strength to lift up the upper body, but really try to have the work come from your core here. Lift arms, lift, I mean, lift upper body, lift legs, squeeze, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and other side. Starting with that arm, that lower arm extended in front of you, body nice and straight, hips stacked, lift, lift. Again, very subtle movement, probably won't see much lift, not using our arm to lift ourselves up, using core, using obliques, lift, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Prop the head, lift the legs. Lift, lift, lift. Keeping those hips nice and parallel. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Elbow under shoulders, palms flat under shoulder, palm flat on the mat, lift, lift. Trying to bring the shoulder to the ankles. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. We're just gonna finish with some quick traditional crunches. Heels toward the glutes, uh, walk the feet together, squeeze those thighs together one more time, crossing the arms over the chest, lightly touching the ears, lift the face up to the ceiling, pushing that belly button down, tailbone almost lifting up at the very top of this crunch. That's how far down your belly button is pushed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get ready to hold, two, one, hold it up here. No weight is supported by your fingers. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Roll over, we're gonna come into a frog pose to start our stretch. Knees are on the outside edge of your mat. Toes are pointing outward instead of inward as they would for um, child's pose. Palms flat, reach them forward. Push your glutes back. Feel the stretch in the hips and the inner thighs. Forehead resting on the mat. Pushing the hips back. And coming to sit up, coming to a seated V with one foot, uh, one knee bent, that foot is on the inside of the thigh, other leg extended, well, trying to have your legs open, so I guess the thigh won't necessarily meet. Sit both of your sits bones down on the mat, arms out in a T, reach toward that extended foot. Other arm comes up and over. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh, but also all the way down the side of the body here. Sitting up, face toward that leg, reach forward. Letting your nose drop down to your knee. And rise it up other side. Starting with that sideways reach, arms out in a T, reach for the foot. Other arm comes up and over. Shoulders stay open to the wall. Come back to center, face that leg, reach forward. Both glutes on the mat. Come back to center, hands and knees. Lift up into down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, no head rush. Head last, roll the shoulders back, step into your wide second position. Inhale, arms up, exhale, plie. Inhale up. 
Exhale, plie. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Gentlemen, take your bow. Ladies, take your curtsy. Thank you so much for joining bar class. I hope to see you next week for our last one of these before it transitions to an in-person class with Ellen.